other news at the hour. The South African National Blood Service says it is facing severe blood sh uh, stock shortages. It is only 2.1 uh, days stock remaining. SANBS needs to collect 3,500 units of blood a day and is urgently appealing to all potential and existing blood donors to visit a SANBS blood donation site to donate their precious units of blood. Blood donations positively impact patients in various emergency situations, chronic illnesses, surgical procedures, even maternal and neonatal care, and importantly, offers patients a second chance with their loved ones. SANBS supplies over 1 million blood products annually and is rated amongst the top blood services in the world. So perhaps to take this discussion further, we're joined via Zoom by the SA National Blood Service spokesperson, Tandi Mosupie. Tandi, good afternoon. Thank you for your time with us here on the ACBC. Good afternoon and thank you for having me. At this worrisome time, perhaps you can paint a picture for us of the shortages that you're talking about and what are the potential risks as we speak? Okay, so we are currently at uh, critical shortages in terms of blood um, um, in South Africa, um, particularly in the areas that are serviced by the South African uh, National Blood Service. Um, you will, as you've already mentioned to the viewers, that we need to collect about 3,500 units of blood per day um, to be able to meet the demand from uh, medical practitioners. So currently we are not able to do that because we are not getting enough blood. The risk is that, um, you know, should we not be able to get our stock levels up to the minimum, um, the impact would be severely uh, felt um, in, in the health sector. Um, the impact would be um, severely um, felt by patients that are currently undergoing uh, chronic treatments. Uh, people that might be experiencing trauma, um, you know, will have, um, you know, this impact um, on them. Um, so we are really, really calling on South Africans to, to, you know, to take the call and come out and assist us with getting the blood uh, stock levels to an acceptable level. Tandy, at this point, have you determined as the SANBA, so perhaps the cases of low turnout and people making these donations? So why are they not making um, blood donations? Why is there uh, uh, issues with long-term retention as well of donors? I think there is a um, an issue with um, blood donors actually not um, coming to to blood uh, donations because um, currently, as you know, with the um, the current weather conditions that we've been experiencing, um, it just becomes difficult for people to get out of home, you know, to go and um, you know find a, a mobile clinic or to go and, um, to a fixed uh, donor center. Um, the other challenge that we've had, um, which is really impacting us a lot, is the fact that we do quite a lot of collections through um, schools. Um, and it being now exam times, we are not um, able to then schedule the required number of uh, blood drives in those particular areas. However, I must continue to say that we do have our regular donors that are still supporting us, that still go out and we thank them. And um, those that are actually due for donation, we actually remind them and uh, would like them to come through and, uh, and donate. First time donors being again uh, the month of June, uh, youth particularly, those that are, they have just turned 16, um, this is also a call for them to actually go out now and, um, you know, take up the call of, uh, of being a donor. You remember that um, to be, to be a, a donor, you have to be between the ages of 16 and 75. You must weigh at least 50 kgs and you must consider your blood safe uh, for donation. Um, Tandi, just very quickly then, after, you know, just um, echoing the, the sentiments about that call to action from those eligible from the age of 16, based on the requirements as well, what is the blood type that is most prefer preferred um, for, for um, transfusions, etc.? Help us also understand that, perhaps um, who, who's most needed at this point? Currently, a uh, blood gr um, group O. Um, is the blood group that is um, in severe um, shortage. And this is the reason, um, the reason for that is because group O can be used um, across other blood groups, but it's also the blood group that is used when there is an emergency. Um, you know, um, so, it, 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 you know, it, it, we require more donors of that blood group. 
Okay. All right. Thank you for that update. Um, Tandi, again, that call to action from the South African National Blood Service saying that they're facing a severe blood uh, stock shortage. Again, urging those with blood group O who serve as universal donors to come forward and uh, donate their blood, perhaps assist um, and save lives. Also saying that those who are the age of 16 are in fact eligible, perhaps also as they meet certain uh, requirements uh, that she's also stipulated. Again, uh, let's see if that situation does change from here. And to again, thank you to Tanya, uh, Tandi rather for her time with us from the SNBC.